All right, let me make sure everything's set up here. I think we're good to go. It is a live surprise Christmas drawing for March 14th, 2023. I haven't done a live drawing in a little while, so I figured I'd hop on here today and do a drawing. Um, first things first, forgot my glove. So I might be, get to some random taps on the screen here. So you're gonna have to bear with that. I should have grabbed that before I started, but I forgot. Um, so I haven't done a live Christmas drawing for a little while. I don't remember when the last uh, one I did was. I believe it was a Snoopy one when I opened up that mystery egg, but I'm back. So I've been doing a couple different art related projects this year so far. All those you can find over on my Instagram at Igu Designs if you wanted to check that out. I believe there's a link below if you're watching this on Twitch or on Instagram or on YouTube, wherever. Check it out. Um, all the videos are posted up there. So if you want to see anything from last year that you missed, you could go to the Instagram account. You'll see 365 drawings from last year and the YouTube channel has all the drawings that I did live last year as well. So you could check those out. But for today, I'm going to draw a Christmas picture as stated. And it's going to be of one of my older son's favorite Disney characters. And we're gonna draw him in a Christmas style. So we'll start with our pencil sketch layer as usual. As I sketch this out, if you're able to tell who it's going to be just by my drawing here and if you're watching live you could type it in the chat if you think you know who it is um, but yeah again this year what I've been doing instead of doing a daily Christmas drawing I'm trying to do something monthly I was doing some crochet projects I did some Christmas crochet projects I'm trying to do one a month on there this month I completed two I don't have any of those with me right now either or I would show those to the camera but I don't have them but I did a zero from Nightmare Before Christmas. I did uh, a Christmas tree, just like a stuffed Christmas tree, and um, a Santa hat wearing Yoda, a baby Yoda. And what was the other one? Oh yeah, a little snowman coffee mug. All right, so my sketch layer is gonna be pretty rough. I'll fix it when I get into the ink layer, as I usually do. So hopefully by now you can tell who it's going to be with those eyes and this nose, but maybe not. I think I'm going to be making him munching on a candy cane. I don't have any candy canes left from this last Christmas. Usually I like to keep some of them and uh, kind of ate them all. I took them to work. I made the mistake of taking them to work and then I left them in my, my toolbox at work and whenever I'd be idle or whatever I'd look for something to crunch on and munch on and I've been I was eating candy canes so they're all gone this year okay again pencil layer it's always rough nothing's ever final here we could always go back and fix some things but stitch has some cute little hairs a mist on the top of his head here give him his little eyebrow lines and I'm thinking candy cane in the mouth and then maybe a, a Santa hat that was one thing last year I was I was like all right I don't want to just put a Santa hat on everything and call it a Christmas drawing but I mean come on that really makes it a Christmas drawing when you add a Santa hat to it so he's got some yeah let me erase those a little bit so his shoulders he's got a little tuft of hair down here his shoulders are going to be a little furry, but I'm going to just draw them first. And then his arms, or legs, arms, whatever, kind of puff out. He's got some bigger forearms here. And then Stitch has claws, as we know. And that's one thing I miss from uh, Disney World. A couple years back, there was a, a, a Stitch. It was a great... It was called the Stitch... Was it The Great Escape? Something like that. I mean, it wasn't great by any stretch of the means. And if you have like a weak stomach to sense and smells, you might not like it because the point of the thing was that you're in a, a laboratory and Stitch escapes and he the theater goes dark and he runs all around the theater and he's eating chili dogs. And at one point he burps in your face. 
and a gust of wind blows at your face and then it stinks, as Disney likes to do. They all put scents in some of the rides so it smells. But that's closed. The building's just kind of sitting there. I still think it has the signs and everything outside. That's one thing about some of the stuff at Disney. When they shut it down, it'll sit there forever before they do something else with it. All right. Give Stitchy Poo his claws here. For some reason, me, me and the, the whole family call him Stitchy Poo. I don't know why. But his forearms look kind of muscular like that. Then again, like I said, his shoulders, that's going to be a little furrier looking. It's not as smooth. Some of the random hairs are going to be coming off of it. So I'll do that. Then his feet, it's going to have little little round uh, paws back here, little feet with uh, tiny claws, nothing, nothing big. But he's going to have... little toes here and that's about it for his feet that'll be like his knee back there kind of hanging out and we'll draw this foot hopefully the uh, little background music there is not too loud I'm trying something different because I know like when I would watch some of my videos there's a lot of times where I'm not talking just because I'm concentrating on what I'm doing so don't want it to be too boring. Okay, four toes. Get these claws in here. Get the basic outline done here for his foot. And that looks pretty good. Then Stitch is coloring. Um, like I said, he's going to have some chest hair here. Or there's a little fluffiness there. He's got a light, like this will be like a light blue, dark blue on the outside. So I'm going to draw, I'm going to draw a bottom here for him. And this is still going to be all the lighter blue. And back to his face. So Stitch has the classic alien shaped eyes. Being a kid from in the 90s just reminds me of the Alien Workshop Skate Company. I used to like to skateboard so it kind of just reminds me of the alien workshop logo the way his eyes are i don't want to work too much on the sketch layer here just because I'll, I'll finalize more of this in the ink and now for his ears stitch has rather large ears and they kind of come out of his head and curl so you'll have like uh kind of just like a dog ear here where this will go in and this will blend into it yeah that'll work i believe this ear has a a chunk out of it there and then we'll draw the same thing over here kind of just do a, a swoop like that and then we'll work on the outside part versus the inside and then we'll blend that in put a little missing piece there all right so yeah i don't think i'm going to go with just the the candy cane in the mouth just because uh i'm gonna get some highlights on the eyes later when we do those and we're gonna go with a, a santa hat so we'll just draw the basic outline of it here and then I might do the fur texture for that, just because I, I kind of like that. Mm, let's see. Let's do the hat like this. We'll just have the ball coming up back here. Yeah, I think that'll work. So that's your basic pencil sketch layer. Let me bring it up here a little bit bigger for you to see. Okay. Then we'll add a new layer and we will start using um, the ink. I'm going to stick with syrup for this one. 
Let me make sure I have the right thickness that I want. Okay. Now I'm going to start with... I'll start with his nose. For some reason, I always started with noses ever since um, I was little. Some of the first characters I learned to draw were like Garfield and Bart Simpson. So whenever I would draw like Garfield, I would always start with his nose. Granted, that looks like shit a little bit. but All right, so we'd I would always start with his nose. That way, when you do the eyes... You kind of have like a starting point to come out from, you know. So that would be how I would have drawn that. Now, I believe when I would draw Bart Simpson, you would always start with the f first eye and draw the nose. Then the other eye would kind of just go behind it, kind of like that. All right, back to Stitch. So again, starting with the nose. We'll... Uh, rough it in here and see how it looks go right over to the eyes I might have to tone down the intensity of my pencil layer there it kind of went a little dark in spots I have a tendency to do that with the uh, iPad pencil so what I have to do just go to the pencil layer and lighten it up that way it's not too distracting and plus, it's easier to see some of your mistakes. All right, so. I'll have to uh, redo some of the mouth here with the candy cane because you don't want the candy cane to be behind his teeth. It has to be coming out of his mouth. So I'll go ahead and draw part of that. I'll rotate the canvas around a little bit here. It's a little easier. Hmm. Let's see. Sometimes with the uh, with this, it's kind of hard to match up your lines and have them blend in. All right, that looks fine. I'm going to have to erase that little that little line in there just cuz that would bug me if I left it. Back to the ink layer. I mean, that candy cane end looks kind of crappy, but whatever. I'm good with that. I don't mind. All right. Now, stitches the top of his head. He has a Definite different coloring around his eyes. I don't know if I really left enough room for that. So I'm going to kind of work it in there a little bit. This is going to be like stitch on my terms, I guess. A little, a little different than the way he normally looks. Because I don't think I left enough room. For the colors, which they do change up by his eyes. Whoops. But that's all right. We'll make it work somehow, don't worry. All right. For now, I'm going to... I'm just going to close that off for when I color it. And then when I do the, uh, the layer for the hat and the fur, I'll do it on top of it. All right, so now this year... I'm going to blend in there. Same thing with this, just to keep my coloring away from it when I drop the color in, I'm going to just draw a line. You're not going to see that later, and I'll explain that when I do it. But for now, the hat's going to come like that. That should be it for the hat. Now we're going to work on some of the facial features here. I got a couple of wrinkles above his nose. He has... Now this is where I was saying before about the... Uh, the coloring, if it's not going to work, I just kind of drew on his nose there. When did I draw that? Oh, boy. I drew that a while ago. All right. Let me get back and just erase that. And get out of here. I didn't even notice that I did that. There we go. Easy fix. Okay. 
So back to him. Like I said, the coloring, he's going to have um, a lighter blue circle around the eyes, but I, without leaving enough room for that, I'm going to have to just do that on my color layer. So I'm going to have to leave it for now. I don't believe it's outlined anyway. So we'll go work on a couple of little lines here. Just to get some textures in here. All right. Now we'll move on to the body of him. So again, his shoulders are going to be a little furrier. And we'll just move right down here to his forearms. As I hit the microphone with my face, sorry. Now his claws are solid black. So I'm just going to fill them in right now. That way I could just draw through them as I'm drawing this part. Just makes it a little bit easier. And then later when I highlight them, I'm going to have to do that on this layer since I just filled them in here rather than on the color layer. Back to this shoulder, same thing. We'll do the same thing with the claws. We'll fill them in here. And that way I could just draw and not worry about having to navigate around the nails. Onto these little toes. A little bit of his knee in the background there. And the darker circle in the foot will do, or the lighter circle will do later when we do the color layer. Okay, same thing with this foot. I really don't even remember what his feet look like. I'm just kind of winging this design here. Because I really, I don't remember. Because I should have looked before I started, but. All right, F can't forget this little line under here. And I'm thinking our ink layer should be about to complete. So with that, I could turn off the pencil layer. Yeah, let's turn that off. We're going to reference this layer add a new layer, put it underneath it, and then we're going to start coloring him in. I'm going to start with the Santa hat. We'll do a darker red, just drop fill it in here, drop fill it in there. Then the candy cane. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to drop it in red. I always have a tendency to go the other way. I just draw the red lines, but this time I'm going to draw the red or fill the red in and then just draw the white. So I selected only the candy cane. So the only part that's going to be affected is the candy cane part. But for that, I'm going to make this a little bit larger. Now to me, I don't know if it's just the way I'm looking at it. That looks like a red candy cane with white stripes just because they're not even rather than a white candy cane with red stripes, which is the way I always thought candy canes were, but we're gonna leave it. It's good enough for now. All right, so back to Stitch himself. We're going to, I don't like filling things with pitch black, but I'm going to for his eyes, just because, because uh, they're obviously they're pitch black eyes. Can't really make them gray or it won't look right. Now his nose is a little bit like a navy blue so I want to try to find a good color for that. We'll go with that one. I might change it in a little bit once I get some of the other colors in and see what they look like. Then the interior part of his ears are a light purple. So kind of like a grayish purple maybe. So we'll stick with something like this. See how that looks. I could do that. That's not bad. 
All right, now, for Stitch himself, he is in the gray-blue category, I would call him. Purple, purple-blue, something around there. So let's see what I could find here. I'm going to just drop fill it, see what it looks like. That could pass as Stitch's colors, I think. So let me fill the rest of him in and... That's not how you do it. Let me fill the rest of them in, and then we'll add that other color, which is that lighter blue. But these way, that way we're going to drop that all in. And, you know, I just learned something the other day. You learn something new all the time. So you know how I just, I just drug all those colors in there to fill that in? Let me see if I can remember how to do this. I saw somebody, they drew, drag, drug a color in, and clicked Continue Filling. Yeah, look at that. It works. Then everywhere they tap... It just auto fills that color rather than dragging it in. So that's pretty neat. I just learned that the other day. So if you use Procreate and you didn't know that, now you do. So I'm done color dropping. So I believe I clicked the check mark up there. Yep, that works. Okay, now for the other color of Stitch. It's more of a lighter blue, bluish aqua color. Maybe like, maybe like that. So the way we're going to do this. We're going to select, let's see, let's select this area. No, we're going to auto select. How about that? This will work. So we're going to freehand and we're going to select basically everything in here, except for a little piece there. Because everything in this area is going to be that blue color. So I have that selected. I'm just going to fill this in like that. Perfect. Then let me go to the head area. We're going to auto select that because that's everything that's in there. And this is the part that's around his eyes. So it's going to be basically shape like that. I'm going to make that a little smaller so I don't go in the part of his ear over there, which I did it again anyway. But I'll fix that. I'll go and do something else. So this should take up that whole area. That looks about right. Okay. So unselect that. Go to the color I used for stitch, which just to make sure it was that one, I'm going to auto select it. Now that we have the smaller brush, I'm going to just correct that part. I'm going to make that a little bit smaller. Um, let's see. Let me blend it away from his mouth a little bit. Whoops. Let me try to eliminate it under that line. Let's see how that looks. That's good for that eye. That eye is fine. This eye, or this part of his arm. I want to get rid of those. And the two over here. And down here on his thumb. And we'll go back to that other color. And just fill that little piece in. And this piece over here. Alright, that looks good for the coloring. And then there's a darker blue for the circles on his feet. So I'm going to go back to the stitch color that I have originally. Go down to a darker version of it, and then we're just going to select his two feet, and we'll just draw a circle in here. Right there. And right there. That's fine. Okay, so there is your coloring for Stitch. And let's see. The only thing I'm going to do, I'm going to fill the teeth in white just because I'm going to add a background color. So when I do the um, the hat fur, it sticks out. So I think a color that would go good with Stitch's background might be orange. So let's kind of play around with some of the backgrounds here. Uh, see, I, Well, the hat will get filled in. But that color kind of looks nice right there, kind of an orangish yellow color. So I think we're going to leave that one as my background color. Then... I'm going to 
start on my shadow and highlight section. And I always use the syrup brush, drop the opacity down, and now we're going to just fill in our shadowy areas, which are basically anything that's underneath something. And this always gives the piece of artwork a little more dimension. You can draw some shadows on his nose, under his eyes a little bit. Definitely any folds are gonna have a shadow coming out of them. These little wrinkles, they're going to have a shadow under here. And then we'll do a highlight on the other part. Little shadow coming out of there. Some on the hair. A little bit here because he's going to be wearing a Santa hat, don't forget, with the fur, so you might see that. This piece of the hat back here. Right underneath his chin, his teeth. And then the candy cane would leave a shadow as well. So we'll do that. And then the candy cane's gonna have a shadow. I never am too perfect with the highlights and the shadows and stuff because honestly it's just not that big of a deal if it's perfect it just adds a little bit more dimension all right so right under his chin some of these hairs furs whatever we'll do here then obviously back here because it's behind him mm, i don't like the way that looked on the bottom i'm gonna blend it in a little better there and then the back part of his leg you could do two layers there the sides of his toes around there all right that looks good for shadowing do a little bit on the top of the hat just for just for fun now we'll switch over to highlights same thing we're gonna have some areas that are a little bit lighter we'll do the top of his nose because I'm sure his nose is wet it seems like it would be some minor highlights on the tops of these we'll do some on the eyeballs but I remember I have to do that on a different layer a little bit on the candy cane that's gonna make it look a little more realistic and shiny which the highlight wouldn't be on the bottom there but it's fine a little bit on his fur here I'm gonna do the toes the toenails and the claws too on the color on the uh, outline layer I forgot I have to do those so a little bit on the feet as well tops of the paws again you don't want to go too crazy with the highlights because he's not made out of plastic you know we'll just do a little bit on the hat now we're gonna go to the reference layer and we're gonna work in there because Obviously, his eyeball is going to have a highlight, as almost every eyeball does. And I'm going to zoom out, see how that looks. Not bad. I'm going to leave it. While we're on this layer, we're going to do one on all of his toes. So I'm going to shrink that down a little bit. All the claws are going to have one. Basically just doing a two lines just to make it a little bit brighter. Like that looks good. Then these toes. And I'm pretty sure that's it for highlights. So now we're going to do the fur on the hat. So for that, we're gonna stay on the reference layer because this is gonna be on top of everything. And we don't want it to, uh, if you go under the reference layer, all the black outlines are going to show. So you don't want to do that. So I'm going to do, let's see, I have a holiday brush, fur lining. That's where we're going to go. And we're going to see how this will look. So 
Gonna start smaller and we could go bigger. I think we'll leave it like that. Now, this one's gonna be tricky because I don't wanna cover his hair there. So I'm gonna select it like that. And I'm going to select up here. And I don't know, that might not draw over that black line, but we're gonna see. No, it did not, but that's no big deal. So what we're gonna do, we'll get the top part of it like that. And we'll get in here, which is fine for now. Then we're going to unselect that. And now, yeah, this is, it, it's gonna, it's gonna be fine. Don't worry. <laughs> As I cover everything I just said, I don't want to cover. That's all right. I could erase part of that over here, which I'm going to do. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Mm, hey, yeah, I got to get rid of it. It's going to bug me. All right, back to this. Let's go. Let's make it a little smaller. That way it doesn't bleed where I don't want it to. Like I don't want it to bleed on the eyes. So you know what I'm going to do? We're going to do a layer above it. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Because then that way I could erase it and it won't erase the other stuff. All right, so it's going to cover. these lines but I'm going to go back and erase the part on the eyeball okay go to the eraser I'm gonna make this smaller and I'm just going to erase that part that part anything I didn't want it to cover Wait a minute, where'd that, oh, there we go. Kind of made it disappear. Yeah, that's good enough. And then over here. On the eye. And I think our Christmas stitch is done. Looks pretty good to me. I think we're gonna leave it. So all I'm going to do is sign the bottom. Let me go back to the reference layer. Let's go to my calligraphy brush. Let's see how that looks. That's fine. And we'll sign it down here. I bumped the screen right there, so. And let's see, today is March 14th, 20, no, not 2022. I'm so used to doing that last year, 2023. And I'll just keep the same star design that I did last year. Let me bring it up on the screen so you gotta see what it looks like in full. And I guess while I'm here, before I finish it out, Let me uh, let me add a few things, as usual. Just because it wouldn't be a drawing of mine unless I scuffed them up a little bit. Dirty candy cane. You could have a little bit of random hairs coming out of the hat, you know? I can't draw on some of that layer because I was on top of it before. Which is fine. Okay, so. Perfect. And just for a little extra stuff, I like to draw some random lines on the outside. And 
I think that's going to do it. So I would like to thank you for tuning in to this. If you watched it live, if you're watching it later on YouTube um, or on Instagram, I'll post it up on there, maybe a little bit of it. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to the Instagram feed. If I decide to hop on live another time, I will post it up there. So thank you guys for watching. I will talk to you next time. Hope you have a good day.